So this is a rather off-the-cuff video that I'm doing. You know, some faggots have been complaining about my live streams. I mean, not everybody, but some of the faggots have. And uh, so, yeah, I'm doing a normal video. So Trump attacked uh, a Syrian airbase. So uh, looks like we're going to war with Syria now. I mean... That's always good, you know, another war in the Middle East, right next to Iraq, you know. Uh, looks like Syria is going to be Iraq 2.0. And the thing about this fucking attack is, Syria is Russia's ally, right? Um, Ru Russia has been working with uh, fucking, I think, Assad, right? That's his fucking name, Assad. Russia has been working with Assad, uh, trying to fucking eliminate the rebels in the area, because, you know... Fucking Putin likes Assad. So he's helping them. You know, they're allies, right? That's how allies work. They help each other. Um, and this fucking Syrian airbase that uh, uh, Trump, uh, I think it was like ballistic missiles or some shit, like 50 ballistic missiles that he fired at this fucking Syrian airbase. But th there's a possibility that there could have been, uh, you know, um, Ru Russian fighter jets there, man. I mean, it's, it's not out of the fucking possibility here, dude. Like, what if there fucking was Russian fighter jets in that fucking airbase? So, yeah, either way, it's going to fucking escalate tensions with Russia, whether they have fucking fighters in there or not. Um, because Syria is fucking Russia's ally. So, I mean, Russia is going to make an appropriate response to uh, this action that Trump has taken. Uh, Trump is currently, like, he, he says currently that he was anti-Iraq war, right? Uh, he, he's a flip-flopper on that. At first, he was for the Iraq war, so make no mistake, he was for the Iraq war at the beginning. And then he flipped. And then he became anti-Iraq war. And I think he's just, you know, flip-flop, 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 flip-flop. You know, either he was... Either he was pro-Iraq war in the beginning, or he was anti-Iraq war in the beginning, and then he flipped, or, yeah, vice versa. You get it. He keeps flip-flopping on this fucking issue, but currently, he is anti-Iraq war. Now, what is he doing when he goes into Syria, right? What, what's what's going to happen? Well, if he takes down Assad and gets rid of fucking his regime and shit, right, uh, then there's going to be a power vacuum left open by, you know, the open fucking government. You know, the government's fucking dead there. Syria's government's dead. There's got to be a new one. There's got to be uh, a new governorship. F I don't... You get what I fucking mean. There, there's going to be new leadership in Syria once uh, Assad is gone. Who's it going to be? Who the fuck is it going to be? Well, it's going to be the rebels. Now, uh, what are the rebels? Islamic extremists. ISIS, dude. Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. ISIS. That's who the fucking rebels are. Did you know that? Well, I mean, obviously you do, because you're fucking smart. But did Trump know that? No, he didn't. Um, and then also Al-Qaeda. Those are the fucking rebels, dude. So what Trump is doing is basically helping ISIS and Al-Qaeda. And also, I might add, Trump flip-flopped on the Syria issue. During the campaign, Trump was good on the Syria issue, when he didn't want to fucking go to war with the Syrian government. Uh... What he said multiple times was that he, um, he didn't want to get involved because he said that we don't know who the rebels are, you know? I mean, they could, they could be Islamic extremists, right? You know, because they are, yeah? Um, but now, apparently, he completely flip-flopped on the issue because of, uh, I think, uh, reports have came out that Assad used poison gas on civilians, even though Assad has basically won the war, so there'd be really no point in doing that, and... You know, Assad is, I think he's smart enough to know that the United States wouldn't like for him to be poisoning civilians. Um, and he's basically won the war, so why even fucking do it, right? You know? He's basically beat the rebels at this point. Um, I don't see why Assad would do that. I don't think he did that. I don't know. Maybe he did. But whatever. Whatever. I mean, United States, they could do something else to punish Assad for his wrongdoings, you know? I mean, don't go to war with fucking Syria. Don't fucking help ISIS and Al-Qaeda. So, yeah. 
Hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this. This is, you know, just what was going through my mind, I guess, based on what I know so far. Uh, Syria looks like it's going to be Iraq 2.0. We're going to escalate tensions with Russia and uh, maybe speed up World War III. Who knows? Who really fucking knows?